Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking you through five of my favourite vegan cookbooks. So, without for oh my god, what is that? What is going on? Okay, so yeah, today we're going to be attempting to make some dwarf bread. I'm going to come over here first. Because I need to do some research, because I've never made dwarf bread before. So I've got some information here about dwarf, uh, dwarf bread. So, rock hard, and indeed contains various rocks, such as gravel, very important, never goes stale and is terribly sustaining. A traveller can go for miles just knowing there's dwarf bread in their pack. A traveller can think of just about anything to eat rather than dwarf bread, including their own foot and even pumpkins. Various forms of dwarf bread can be used as weapons, e.g. battle muffins and drop scones. So, pro proper dwarf bread has to be not just baked, but forged with gravel, of course, and dropped in rivers and dried out, and sat on and left, and looked at every day, and then put away again. For preference, its use as a cat's litter box is also recommended. Dwarfs generally devour it with their eyes, because even dwarfs have trouble with devouring it any other way. Alright. Okay, so I guess we're going to attempt to make this. One thing I should point out here before we go any further, this is a collaboration video with myself. So you're watching this video on my booktube channel, Dane Reads. I also now have a channel called Dane's Vegan Journey. And over on Dane's Vegan Journey, I'm going to be doing the video on uh, five recipe books that I recommend. So be sure to check that out. But um, yeah, right, let's go and get some fucking gravel. This is ridiculous. What am I doing with my life? This video seemed a lot less crazy in my head, but hey ho. Okay, let's, uh, here we have some self-raising flour. We'll chuck that in there. There we go, nice bit of self-raising. Uh, what else should we, what else goes in dwarf bread? We put in a little bit of, a little bit of oil. A little bit of, a little bit of olive oil. Why not put in some red food colouring as well to make it take on the colour of our enemy's blood? And right, then we're gonna we're gonna stir this together with a fork. That's gonna need a bit of water in it as well, I think. I'm trying not to breathe in while I'm filming this because this is not gonna be good, is it? Oh my god, it's gonna make my house stink when I cook it. All right, so I've mostly mixed it together. I'm just gonna give it a bit of a knead. This is really very strange. I could feel the rocks inside. <laughs> All right, there we go. Make sure the rocks stay in there because we need them for the weight. It's not clumping together as, as nicely as I'd like because the rocks keep falling out. But I think we've def we're definitely on to something here. I only have these really dainty little cases for the muffins as well. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to do like a like a throwing star. Well, I don't have any star moulds. I do have a heart, so we can do a throwing heart. So this is gonna... This could be our throwing heart. Okay, so here are our dwarvish battle muffins as they are at the moment. We're gonna preheat the old oven to 200 degrees and stick them in. While we're waiting for them to cook, why not head over to Dane's Vegan Journey on YouTube and uh, see some of my favourite vegan cookbooks. Uh, anyone want to help eat the rest of the dough, by the way? No? Oh. Alright, gonna, I'm going to bake these up and then I'm going to make a target and test them out, I guess. Alright, the bread is, is ready. <laughs> this is... The most ridiculous video I've ever made. It's not always like this on Dane's Vegan Journey. Sometimes I do actually cook stuff that is nice. Holy shit, these are going to be hot as well. I just got a whiff of it. Oh. What have I created? Okay, we need to let these cool. Um, I want to let these cool quickly, so I'm going to put them in the freezer, even though that's probably... Actually, that's going to be part of my forging process. We put them in the freezer over here, and then the sudden transference from very hot to very cold is going to help to solidify them. I also left them in longer than I needed to. Um, uh, I need a hand here. All right. I just got a smell of it. 
I just got a smell of it. Okay, so while they're cooling, we need to make a target. You may be wondering why I'm filming this inside. It is because I think I might look mental if I film this outside. He's over there, we're gonna test out our Dwarven battle bread. I should also take a nice photo of them first. So here we have the moment of truth. Here we have our, we have four battle muffins and a heart chucker. I mean, they do feel pretty, like, hefty. Let's try a battle muffin. I'm wearing this glove because they're still hot as well. Take this, Mr. Troll. Oh no, I missed. We should also point out here that it's very close to my TV, so hopefully it doesn't bounce and a rock goes into it or something. In fact, I'm going to move him along. Come on, Mr. Troll. That's it. That's it. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh! I mean, it made a dent. I didn't get the actual troll. It made a pretty significant dent. Hey, Mr. Troll. This is for trolling people on book Twitter. Oh, I got him on the nose. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with my battle bread. I didn't think this was going to be as fun as it is. Look at that. Got him right on the nose. Okay. I mean, I want another go with the heart. This is... This is the one, I think. This is way better. This is way better than the battle muffins. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Yeah, no, now I need to do the hoovering. It exploded. All right. Muffin number two, battle muffin. This is for all the dwarves who died at Coombe Valley. Yeah. All right, that one exploded. So we've got two more. I don't know. What's, what should my battle cry be? Battle cries, battle cry ideas, anyone? For Narnia! Here we go, last one. Oh, man, dwarf bread is more fun than it has any right to be. Uh, I have, I mean, I put that towel down. That Putting that towel down was pissing in the wind, really, wasn't it? Luckily, I do need to hoover anyway. So I'm gonna hoover all these up and then get rid of that box. But man, that was good. So uh, yeah, that was my experience baking dwarf battle bread. If you want to join me for more regular kinds of cooking content, head over to Dane's Vegan Journey, and I do lots of recipes and cooking vlogs and that sort of stuff, taste tests, uh, all vegan food, all delicious stuff, and also I'll link below to the video there where I talked about my top five vegan cookbooks, but in the meantime, <coughs> oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this ridiculousness, I guess. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.